it's kind of insulting to me that you would ask that question because like okay, it's I'm so just awesome. I'm just asking simple questions. So like the next well, I question don't know, now it just is, feels kind of bad faith. That's all I'm saying. Proves that I'm I a mean, fascist I would literally now. just leave. I will never share a platform with that fucking scum. You're trying to make the point that it's incredibly bad. It's just incredibly bad faith. But because you're trans, you like to weaponize your identity to attack other people online. You claim it's all transphobic. What an inane, stupid fucking argument. I allowed you to finish, right? Actually, you didn't. You cut me off. I got. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't have health insurance. This conversation is giving me cancer. This is such a fact. God, Vivian, you're such a fucking coward. I can't have you escape with a reputation intact when you are the most snake-like cowardly f that has ever oh, been in on. any of these rooms. Okay. What do you come on? What? Shut the f up. Right. It's true. Oh, well, when I said progressives that debate left-leaning people, oh, uh, well, or de that debate fascists, I wasn't talking about you, Destiny. I meant all the other progressives on the platform that debate fascists, but not you, even though I've specifically I meant, called you I meant, and Lauren Southern and the streams you've been out on by name. I wasn't talking about you with that one tweet because you're confronting me about it now and I don't really want to own that. And Lauren I mean, Southern and the streams I mean, you've been out on by name. I wasn't talking about you with that one tweet because you're confronting me about it now and I don't really want to own that. And you, it's very important. If, you know, now, obviously... Nice. We... I am doing a COVID Sh test while I'm literally on this call because okay. I think I've got COVID. If we, so wanna, like... if we want to avoid uh, shouting... Shut the fuck up, Dari. If we want to avoid shouting, I've got just the man who can help us avoid all of that. And that is, of course, <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> Destiny, go on. Go, hey, Destiny. Woo. Run while you can, Destiny. Listen, I only shout yeah, when people, people shout at me. me. Okay. Um, how are you doing, everyone, today? We all feeling okay? Hi. Yeah. I just reached it's Diamond. A bank holiday. Yeah. I'm doing De great. Destiny, I hit Diamond before you. TFD and doesn't two, count. Destiny. Okay? Stop. It does count. It yeah. does count. Can we just not call everybody fascist? Can we stop this? I, like, I think that if there are True. people we want to bring on this platform... Just slinging it around randomly, actually. Not at anybody... Wait, let's Destiny, let Destiny speak. I think that if we want to bring people onto this platform and debate them, I think that's a cool thing. I think we should absolutely do that. I think it is a morally righteous thing. I think it is easily defensible. If we start to see a huge fascist movement growing on Twitch, I think that's something to pay attention to. But right now, the biggest toxicity on this platform easily comes from far left people, and nobody talks about deplatforming them. So right. I think we're super cool to have arguments with people on the right. I don't think there are any fucking fascist viewers here. No offense, but I don't even know if anyone in this conversation knows what a fucking fascist is, despite throwing it around all the time. I think it's okay. I think we're going to be okay having these types of conversations i think you know that i know exactly what a fascist is because we had that whole fucking conversation with Vosh, and i defined it really really fucking clearly destiny so you continuing to fucking say this about me wait wait right? wait, wait, wait. Why i don't do you know think i, was, I don't wait, know this did anything about you no no wait why do you think i was indicting you with that statement because you said i don't think anybody in this call knows what a fascist is well maybe you could have been right Kind of like when you made that tweet about how we were bringing on fascists to the platform that included a picture of me, and you said it actually wasn't about me, it was just about everybody else on the call? I mean, there, were, there was one openly identifying fucking fascist. Who, one wait, person, which one? Brittany Venti. Does she openly identify? No she offense. Called, I don't, she calls herself. Vivian, I don't know if you've listened to any of Brittany Venti's stuff, but I don't know if she's smart enough to even have that political label. Okay? I, 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 I agree, but she, right. just, but she she uses the label, and she's definitely done some fucking insane, unhinged shit that wouldn't be, like, out of character for can you give me? Fascist. Can you give me one example of something she's done that's fascist? Um... Sorry, what, yeah, like, she what do you mean, was transphobic. done a thing that is, done a thing that is fascist. Like, you will be aware, right, from our previous conversation. Wait, stop, fact, hold on, you're about to say a whole bunch of shit I don't care about. Can you give me, like, one characterization of her that would mean that, oh, she might be fascist? Yeah, she calls herself a fascist. That... That, that's it. That's, that's all you. Usually, that's all you have. I mean, that's usually a pretty good indicator. But then, you know, followed up by the fucking like African mud cooking okay, show. I'm a fascist I think too. Probably Am I a fascist it. now? Because I'm on record saying it. What an inane, stupid fucking argument. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. Some okay. So what's the? So okay. So let's. <laughs> so Brittany Venti is what like an inane, stupid Venti Venti argument, like, and you know it too. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Brittany Venti is wait. probably racist a little bit, uh, or maybe based on what I've seen in the past. But fascist? I don't incredibly. I don't think yeah. she has the political knowledge to be fascist. Like that's right. Uh, that's sure, and right, I think that's... that being whilst being incredibly fucking stupid, you can also like identify with a particular political mm -hmm. movement and take actions in support of that movement. And there that are no is major in... political movements right now that are fascist in the United States. So I don't know what you're talking Wait, about. But... I mean, I don't, I, I, I don't know if that's true. I think we could possibly mm -hmm. uh, like. Um, 
yeah, I think we could reasonably say that, like, Christian nationalism, for example, is one of the biggest fucking, like, uh, fascist threats to the United States. I think we could see that with January 6th when we were, to, uh, when the Proud Boys were being hailed as God's soldiers as they attempted to undermine the democratic process, yeah. right? Um, I think you can see that with the core conspiracy theories that informed January 6th, right? Being essentially QAnon based on the protocols of the learned elders of Zion, just another fucking extension and reincarnation of that. I think the idea that there isn't any kind of fascist movement in the United States would be like it's inane to even assert. The vast majority of like academics who study the fucking subject would disagree with you like drastically. That first of all, every single time a leftist has told me an academic would disagree with me, when I bring on people that work in these fields, all of them say that people like you are absolutely batshit insane. I've never had an academic come on and and ever from any of these things. So if you can find one, feel free to shoot it my way. But sorry, I'm you, I mean, I mean, how about, how about, how about, yeah, have you? Because, because I have, I have my email exchange with like Robert Paxton, for example, in which like, because he was one of those people who studied fascism in fucking depth, right? Um, and is considered one of the most foremost scholars on it. And in the uh, in the early years of the Trump presidency, was extraordinarily reluctant to uh, describe uh, Trump as 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 being fascist, and the Trump movement as like being fascist. And over time, came to uh, came to the conclusion that yeah, it it was time to start recognizing the rise of fascism in the United States. So, I mean, that's. That's probably one of the, one of the most uh, important scholars on on fascism. Wow, there's a lot of them, but like he's definitely one of the most important and influential scholars on fascism. No. I don't want to hey. like, dominate the conversation. Does anybody want to say anything? Or I very much do. I I wanted to. I the reason I came in here in the first place was to have a discussion in regards to uh, the comments about Lauren Souther being a fascist because she didn't avow uh, some of the things that were fascist that she said in the past. Um, in your opinion, I just wanted to state pretty pretty plainly a couple of things. So one in regards to the panel, I was to my knowledge she wasn't the at the very least the person that was uh set up the panel like actually in the thing i don't know maybe she was actually the it was the uh the the person who kicked haas twice they were in control of it i don't know if they were co doing it or if they were just the one that set it up or i don't know but uh, i, I you actually the panel with all the women or whatever yeah and then well, haas stupid that fucking bitches that was Jesus Christ! I believe that was um, Lauren's panel. I think that was hers. Even though I it think was her Ashton, panel. I think she, Ashton had control over who was where, but I think it was Lauren's panel. It's my okay. Opinion. Okay. So yeah, or right, because I just didn't know, and I didn't know if anybody in here knew. But anyway, uh, on top of that, so you said previously that like a big telling of like her being possibly fascist was her having Brittany Venti on her panel, right? And I don't. I mean, it was think just one a, small piece of evidence. Okay. So like, would you? I was. Is a little bit weird now that he's in the room, but I was going to ask you, what about like Destiny having a conversation with Eric Stryker? Would you say that that <laughs> makes Destiny? Do would you say that makes Destiny a fascist? I mean, this will be the third time now that I've said that. Like, there was more to that statement, right? Like, uh, on as as a friend, supportive, not pushing back on, right? Like, I think if somebody's, if you have somebody on your panel who is a fascist and you're like arguing against their fascist positions, obviously, like, I can't, uh, like, that's not, that's not like mm -hmm. an indication that you okay. yourself are a fascist. And mm -hmm. it, I, it's, it's kind of insulting to me that you would ask that question because like, okay, it's I'm so just, obvious. okay. I'm just asking simple questions. So like the next well, question, I don't know, it just is... feels kind of bad faith. That's all I'm saying. But so, maybe he doesn't. All right. Know. Okay. So, so I, 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 there's a there's just follow up questions. I'm just asking you one question leading mm -hmm. to another. So like, let's say that I'm post hippy dippy panel after me discussing going uh, at big Papa fascist neck. After the panel, we have a post uh, uh, situation kind of similar to like let's say prime stuff where you can just hang out afterwards. If I'm hanging out and being friendly with big Papa fascist, does that make me a fascist? I thought it would be bad. What? Like if you're so shooting the shit with somebody, like after yeah, like a heated debate. Yep. yep. And I'm just hanging out with no. big papa fascists. Tolerating, tolerating, tolerating fascists doesn't make you a fascist. It just makes you a useful fucking idiot. So how do you discern whether or not somebody's tolerating them when they're shooting the shit, hanging out, playing video games, talking about video games, talking about real life stuff, 
versus having them all just you know hang out on a panel like what Lauren Southern did. I don't know. Maybe a long history of being part of the same fascist fucking movement. And you, so you believe that that history then means that Lauren Southern is a fascist because she had somebody who had a previous political position to her on a panel with her. I said that was like one indicator. Yeah, it wouldn't. It's not like, hey, this is conclusive evidence that okay. Lauren is like, uh, Lauren is definitely one hundred percent secret fascist so, views so, right um, now. So, like, so. so so yeah, the, the big rule that I'd like to run with is like, so for instance, let's say Lauren Southern was in the chat right now and came in and was like, okay, give me the evidence that you have that proves that I'm a I fascist I mean, I would now. literally just then, leave. I will never share a platform with that fucking scum. Can we, what, when we do uh, this, this is a hypothetical, we, Viv, Viv, but this wait, is wait. a hypothetical, I think. Uh, why why I mean, can't we just it, like push back against the actual arguments people make instead of just trying to like label them something and walk away? Why? Like it's so yeah. lazy. Well, okay, well, hold on, Destiny. Do you believe that if someone declares himself to be a fascist that we can probably assume they're a fascist, or do you think that's unethical? No, that's like such a stupid way. It's actually mind-blowing to me that somebody would think that like a self-ID is a valid way of figuring out like the political positions of somebody. Like only somebody that doesn't understand any political positions would say something like that. People can self-ID yeah. incorrectly all the time and it really doesn't give us a good... Like lots of people are, they'll call themselves sock dems, but they're actually like yeah. way more liberal than they law order. Or they'll call themselves sock dems and they're actually closer True. to dem socks. So no, like yep. a self... Or somebody might call themselves a fascist for a variety of reasons. I don't know. No, I would never go by a self ID. If I'm going to ascribe a political label to somebody, it's because they share several tenets with that ideology. Yeah. So I hate it when like people will try to find like one or two things like, oh, that person's a fascist. Like there are probably aspects of fascism that literally all of us here might agree with. You could argue theoretically that the state mobilizing like the CDC to enforce like vaccine mandates could be in in a way like an aspect of fascism potentially. So just like trying to find one or two positions somebody has, oh, they're anti-immigrant and they're racist. That's a fascist. It's like it's such a lazy way. Like, well, if they're anti-immigrant, argue about anti-immigration. If they're racist, argue about racism but don't just try to like label somebody as a fascist and then think you can walk away because your work here is done it's so lazy to me yeah, so i agree with so that. you think wait 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 so you think it so i'm just trying to understand your position so do you think it was bad when like academics because there were some who like called trump fascist do you think like that was a bad thing i'm i'm, you, I'm trying to when like you ask, me, when you ask me if it's a bad thing there's two different ways like, in terms of like okay, unethical um, no, 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 hold on. I'm, that's not what I mean. When I mean, so okay. when we say, like, is it bad, we could talk about, like, public perception of something being bad or, like, in an academic sense, is it bad? Um, academically, Trump wasn't technically a fascist because the institutions wouldn't allow him to be so, but if he wanted to be, he probably would be. Sure, probably. But okay. even at that point, my argument against Trump isn't going to be like, you shouldn't like Trump because he's a fascist. Like, that's not an argument. That's, you, you're just describing... Well, no, I would agree on that. Yeah, you, so you go forward and then you argue against like the individual actions or positions he takes. You say, well, this is what he did and this is why it's wrong. Okay. Yeah. I, I can yeah, I so, get up with that. So my whole point of bringing that up was just like if... I'm not saying that like you have to in this hypothetical stay in the room, Vivian, with uh, Lauren Southern. It's that what do you think would be the most convincing argument you could give right in that moment where everybody the heat is on every lauren's in the room everybody is looking at you for the big bullet the silver bullet to take her down how is she a fascist can you give me that what is the silver bullet i th i think it would be um i think it would be unreasonable and silly to like hold the standards that like somebody who has made their career like being a fascist promoting fascist organizations like generation identity and so on right um working for a uh, a, a fascist propaganda's channel in uh, in blaze tv right um that somebody who's like done that for their entire fucking life comes on twitch and then just goes uh and and like doesn't denounce those views right doesn't say like no i i, I don't hold any of those views anymore right um just so i understand you said blaze tv is a fascist news outlet yeah, I think it was Blaze TV, right? That she was working for so, uh, for, for so fucking long. Okay. Um, Definitely associated with themselves with the alt right. Yeah, I mean, very much promotion. Okay, I thought they were like center right, far right, like a like, shitload of like, like Crowder, fascist. Ruben, Glenn Beck. I, I, that is, it's not fascist. Sorry, that's, I was being charitable, to you, but you're not. I'm just, it's not fascist. But sorry, keep going. Done. Okay, cool. Um, I think I th I think you can uh, look at her fucking life's work. Say so she's uh, she took a uh, a year off after being attacked by Gavin McInnes um, and losing a bunch of fucking friends or whatever. 
I'm pretty sure that was yeah. how that shit went down. And then came... saying Rebel Media, by the way, which oh Rebel Media was it? Rebel Media. Fast, yeah, yeah, sorry, I might have got I'm, I might have got those two mixed up. Um, That's what I'm thinking of as well. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Rebel Media. Um, no. Fucking, uh, I think yeah. Fuck me. Uh, so many distractions. Um, yeah. Uh, look at her life's work. She hasn't fucking denounced her or whatever. I would say the burden, the burden of proof is on her to say that she's no longer a fascist, right? And while she's still on the platform, um, contributing to narratives that support fas uh, sp support the fascist movement, um, I I don't see any reason to believe that she's fucking changed, right? Well, how, I'm, and I'm I, I, and how, I don't how know. Do you, how do you stop? How do you stop? How do you? I, I think there's enough that people who like doing this argument right now, actually, Dario. How, how do you prove that you're not a fascist in other ways than just not being a fascist? I, you would have to take steps to like, uh, make, uh, to counteract the views that you previously held. Um, there are a number of like formers that I, um, that, that I speak with on a fairly fucking regular basis, uh, who do make, uh, do take pains to like, uh, push back against the narratives that they used to promote. Right. Whereas, like that isn't the case for Lauren Southern. Like she, she is directly contributing to those narratives, right? She's still doing the like transgender and mental illness, fucking immigration a serious fucking problem. Trans mental people, illness has nothing to do with minority. fascism. Immigration a serious problem is not anything to do with fascism. I mean, if you don't understand, if you don't understand, if you don't understand, if you don't, no, 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 no. If you don't understand the place of uh, the place of transphobia in the fascist movement, then you don't understand yeah. fascism. So, yes. mind if I jump in here real go quick? On Zonia, go on, Zonia. Go on, Zonia. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to try to, like, uh, I don't know. I'm going to try and steal one in your position, Viv, but at the same time, I'm going to disagree. Uh, okay, so, Viv, your original claim is that um, that little by little, we have all introduced a um, conservative opinions, right-wing opinions, and it has allowed... Uh, it has allowed Twitch to become more reactionary. And then as we argued this whole thing, we get down the line and eventually, you know, you bring up Lauren Southern as being on Twitch and being tolerated. And you're saying that she is um, an example of this and is contributing to it. Now, the what's being said right now is you're saying that I don't know. I think you're tying a lot of like disparate conversations that we had into well, a single narrative. I mean, like, we got to it because uh, of that. You brought it up mean, as an example to demonstrate that we have that we effectively Twitch has become more right wing, right? As of all the pushback happened. I mean, I don't I don't even know about like more right wing. Um well, Fuck. we like, went from more reactionary, uh, and it's, more reactionary. it kept spiraling and becoming a, a rabbit hole, right? Yeah, I think you can be like, but, I think you can be like anti-progressive while still being sort of like centrist or whatever, right? Um, so, I don't, I don't like the division of politics into left and right. Anyway, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, I yeah. agree. But this is so. This is what I kind of observe with Lauren Southern. Um, I don't think that she contributes to uh, like fascism in Twitch. I think that she has socially conservative positions that other fascists also have, right? Fascists sure, being very yeah. traditionalist. And as long as I agree that like having Brittany Venti on, that's a bad look. And it really kind of plays into a, a reputation that Lauren Southern already has. So it doesn't look good. And Brittany Bendy is a serious problem. But as far as I can tell, Lauren Southern is not actually contributing to fascism or the acceptance of fascism in Twitch politics or con even really contributing to reactionary ideology. In sure. Twitch I mean, politics. I don't think that I don't think that like straight up out and out fucking like white nationalism is ever going to be. A, um, an accepted position on Twitch politics simply because the vast majority of people who would promote that wouldn't be able to stop themselves from screaming the N-word. Like, so, they would just get, like, TOS'd out of the fucking arena. Okay, um, so perhaps we can kind my, of... My, my claim is definitely not that, like, oh, all of a sudden Twitch is going to turn into, like, a, some fascist utopia. Like, so and maybe... I've never intimated that. What, so what if we go down the path of trying to define 
the the harm that you observe in Twitch politics. I know we kind of got there earlier, but then it got completely derailed when we went down this path. So maybe if we could kind of get back to that and define yeah, the harm that you observe. I mean, I we we spoke a lot about like fucking uh, shit during the xenogender discourse, like uh, the uh, we talked about like the harassment of marginalized people on the platform. We talked about the uh, the narratives that like center left people are willing to uh, sometimes get behind and embrace, um, but definitely sort of like allow to fly by without objection. Um, especially if it benefits them in their harassment of another individual that they have some personal fucking beef with because the personal beef shit is just everywhere and it's incredibly fucking petty and people let it control them. Um, so I, I definitely have observed some harm, some harm. I'm not sure if that harm has increased significantly in the last couple of years uh, with the adoption of broader range of ideas. But um, like some of the harm that I've seen is a lot of, trans people in this space having um, dealing with a lot of harassment and sometimes that resulting in pretty extreme um, depression, sometimes even self-harm. Uh, but at the same time, I, I also observed that there are a lot more trans creators and prominent trans creators in the space than there were two years ago. So I'm not too sure if... I get, again, I don't know that that's the case. I, so I we, we touched well, on that earlier. Right. Um, in terms of like this particular insular Twitch poll space, like there are more trans people on Twitch for sure. Right. Um, but in terms of like the insular sort of like tw uh, Twitch poll space, I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure that that's the case in terms of like prominent creators. I, I was I, I asked um, uh, I forget who it was. I asked somebody to like name them and we got uh, like we got Riverboat Jack some person i haven't heard of and um i can't remember the name uh, yeah, sorry so, 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 sorry, sorry 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 wait, i just wait, wait, that, no, that, no, wait, that's wait, wait, all anecdotal wait. like do we have like metrics on this so, like in sorry. terms of like how many yeah, trans yeah. creators like, yeah, yeah. like, 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 yeah. like don't, 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 like, don't make these accusations that like, the, the, like these aren't safe unless we have like the actual numbers i mean i literally said i don't know if that's the case well, right why are you insinuating it right stop 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 insinuating what if somebody makes a claim and i say i don't know if that's the case right what no you're asking me for i'm not letting you run away I don't you, know if that's you, the you, case. you very, I'm, you very Same. much said that it's becoming more reactionary. It's not as like safe. There's not as many prominent trans creators, and you don't have any evidence in regards to beyond this, like us not being able to name more than a couple, like off the top of our head. Like maybe there's a lot. Apparently, there was like this entire like trans mask panel that happens on Twitch every fucking week. It's hosted by Brother Malcolm. Like, there's so like uh, there's like Bluebird. He's another uh, person. Like, I can start like I can, uh, I can like potentially list these things. But but you're yeah. saying it's like an unsafe like place. And then when we're asking, all right, what's the the, the actual evidence just beyond like saying, oh, when like prompted, Chud can't name more than three trans creators. That feels extremely disingenuous. And now you're like, oh, I don't. Why are you asking? Brother, this? Brother because Malcolm, you're making the, the claim. Oh, Brother, Malcolm, sure the Brother Malcolm, the prominent Brother Malcolm, the prominent prominent twitch poll trans creator yeah i know now okay. i want well, well, to i want to just kind of just i want us to sort and of all those to, nameless people on that let, let's on your, we're let's not on go on, go on, go on, we're, we're not really going to be able to go beyond um anecdotes in a way here so i, I think yeah, that, right? we, we we are going to have to kind of bring up anecdotes in order to it's just to pretty our positions. To ask but, for like solid but, fucking stats on like how many uh, trans creators were in this loosely defined right, hold on one second you're trying to make the claim that it was unsafe for trans people yes it's just incredibly bad faith That's how is it bad uh, faith no, asking uh, for any evidence to support your position Okay, both of you talk for a second. That I don't know if let's that's on the your, case. Let's on your speak. Let's on your we speak. were exploring it for fuck's sake, Hans. Go on, let's in on your order speak. For us, in order for us to have a productive conversation here, we kind of need to define the like define this harm that's being observed. And there's not really a way to come up with any solid numbers, but we can give examples from what we have observed. So that's what I'd like to do. That's the only way for us to really have anything to grapple with that we can even argue for, for or against, right? So we need to define that harm. 
Yeah, okay. sure. I mean, we've got we got one of the people in the fucking uh, in in the panel now that's like helped drive like insane amounts of fucking harassment towards two trans creators. I think the way that he's, uh, Destiny's dealt with both Demon Mama and uh, and oh, what's that harassment? You guys uh, either lie great. about it or you dramatically over exaggerate it, or it's just normal harassment that everybody um, has, but you call it transphobia because it makes you feel better online. Well, I don't know. I mean, after you called I, me, I do know. I do know because I go through the tweet like... mentions whenever people claim that I got so much transphobic hate, and there'll be like thirty people like attacking, and there'll be like one dipshit with zero followers, like two followed, and it's like Nick Fuentes, like random shit, and he'll be saying dumb shit. I block those mm -hmm. accounts. The vast majority of the hate that that trans people receive online that I engage with is just the normal kind of hate that everybody in politics engages with. But because you're trans, you like to weaponize your identity to attack other people online. You claim oh, it's all transphobic. Goodness, if weird. you disagree with me, feel free to shoot me. I say this at the end of every conversation. Surprise, surprise. It hasn't what did I? Feel free, to shoot me. feel free to shoot me. You said that I direct hate towards trans people with the implication being that trans people receive some sort of special kind of hate. Anytime you do politics well, online, I, you do. I mean, trans, pe trans, people do do receive, trans people do receive a special kind of hate because like yeah, the, hate they, 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 the, hate they, the hate that they the hate that they the hate that they the hate that they I allowed you to finish, right? No, actually, the hate you cut me off. I got the hate that they the hate that they receive is going to take on the character of transphobia that won't happen towards other people. People. No, a very what? small minority of it does. Okay, but some of it will. Like, if sure. they get a significant amount of harassment, some of that harassment will be transphobic harassment. But I don't care, right? I was literally just saying that, like, there is one per uh, one person who's responsible with his rhetoric, right, for directing that harass, uh, like, directing harassment towards a couple of trans people, sure. right? The, 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 the nature of that harassment, the nature the nature of that harassment as being transphobic or not is not something that I fucking like even put into the fucking question. No, but you're, the implication is dripping from every single thing you say. Also, the phrase directing harassment is not a is not an accurate phrase. Just because I engage True. with somebody publicly, I think this person well, come needs on, to come on, 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 <laughs> well, I mean, if you're just going to, like, Classic. misrepresent shit throughout your answer, go ahead. I guess I'm not I'll misrepresenting anything. Up. I'm telling you that the phrase directing harassment implies that I'm literally tweeting something akin to go harass this person. Okay? It's bullshit. Did you that not do that with me, my mama? My bad. It's insane that... It's, ins it's bullshit to me that I can get insane people like you directing like insane personal attacks at me or crazy like political labels at me. And then when I engage back, oh no, he's directing harassment towards me. If you want to claim that I quote unquote direct harassment towards somebody, that's fine. But all of you direct harassment at me anyway. It's all, it's all fair game then. Okay. I that phrase directed harassment, just because I quote tweet somebody, doesn't that doesn't count as directed harassment. That's bullshit. Okay. Go harass this person. Welcome. Like that would that would be like directing harassment, based, right? Based, based, based. Or like, or if I'm uh, or like all like, gloves, like, all gloves, all gloves are off. Yeah, all gloves are off. Go fuck up this person, basically, right? Like I can't remember the exact wording you used towards. From that. I, 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 yeah, I don't know the exact wording you used towards Demon Mama, but like, you You're you did like basically say that, right? Well, I, I don't. Posters. Are you talking about like what I said? I feel like this happens gonna... to everyone, though. Like maybe no, 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 wait, no, no. You can't dilute that. Hold on. No, that's bullshit. Because the the overall narrative is that every single time I quote tweet somebody, I'm engaging in targeted harassment. That's, that's not bullshit. the implication that I make. You're a liar. No, what, what did you say? What did you say specifically you can, about listen, Demon Mama? You can. I think for, for something for Demon Mama, I said that I wasn't going to do cross-platform bans if they were going to keep personally slandering me. I think that's what I said, which is something that I went above and beyond for for some people, and I decided to stop doing. Because in my community, despite what any of the fucking morons in this call or anywhere else think, I, do, I try to go really far to make sure that people aren't harassing people off platform. So if somebody goes to one of your chats and they get engaged in transphobic behavior, I'll ban it from my Discord, my chat, my Twitch, and my YouTube. I do that for anybody. But I stopped doing it for Demon Mom because she would still constantly accuse me. She's like, okay, well, fuck you. I'm not going to extend this courtesy to you. And then that counts as like targeted harassment, which is bullshit. Okay. So the manner in which like uh, harassment is like targeted towards people is when you use like certain fucking rhetoric i would be i'd like i don't know i could even words have are this acceptable like, have this conversation in a in a different okay i could even i could have this this could be this could be yeah like this could be a whole separate fucking discussion around like how you uh how you can use uh 
use your rhetoric as like as somebody with a large platform to regardless of if you go don't go harass this person don't go harass this person you know as a large content creator that that person's going to suffer some kind of harassment based on what you say and it's generally when you sort of like essentialize that person as a bad person right then leave like, the space then get I the fuck out it. I, then leave. I no, 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 no. Hey, listen, listen. If you're going to be involved in publicly attacking me, personal or otherwise, and then you don't like it when I respond, then get the fuck out of the space. You don't belong here. Okay? Because it's bullshit that you think that you can take your identities, weaponize the fuck out of them, and then make personal attacks or crazy political attacks towards me. And Is that what I'm doing? And any form of engagement that I do back. Is that what I'm doing? That's what are you doing. Okay, is that what I'm doing? Are you getting Vivian? Vivian, you are Vivian. Is that what I'm doing? Vivian, you are more delusional than I yeah, thought. I if you're going to pretend that that is not the constant characterization that is made of me every single okay, fucking time, right. I yes, engage with I somebody on Twitter. That. Okay, okay, I understand. I, I understand that. All right, and I would really, and I, I, you know, some of our, uh, some of our recent interactions have shown me that you find it very, very fucking difficult to separate what one individual is saying to you from the broad array of like uh, yeah. narratives that are being pushed. No, right? wrong. The thing so, I find difficult is that on Twitter, this is crazy. You guys project so hard. People will say that I'm insane on Twitter, okay? But then when you have a conversation with me in real life, I'll defend every fucking tweet I make constantly. The problem is with people like you, when you make tweets, and then I confront you, you run the fuck away from them so fast. What, did I, what, if I, what if I run away from? Like when you tweeted I've, that I've picture of me on that panel and you're like, oh, look, fascists are on Twitch again, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, I didn't mean you, Jesse. That was no implication to you. Yeah, whatsoever. clearly I didn't mean you and you knew okay. I didn't yeah, mean sure. you. Okay. This is probably, what, this is some of the most disingenuous yeah. fucking horseshit. Of okay? course, so like, disingenuous. The idea, the idea that I was fucking referring to you in that, when you know, you know what my fucking definition of fascist is, you know that it doesn't fucking include you. When we've had long fucking conversations about what it is, right? The only thing that I can like marginally try and afford some fucking charitability towards you in that particular action of saying oh clearly Viv is calling me a fascist right is what I literally just said is your complete fucking inability to take people who are talking to you as individuals instead of some a part of some collective yeah. that is perpetrating all these different fucking narratives about you I have never literally fucking never called you a fascist right and I, I do not think that that Shut up, Dario. I do not think that I do not think that that label would be appropriate for you, and I would not encourage other people to use that label for you. Okay, if you want that explicitly fucking spelled out for you, feel free to ask me. Okay, at do any you think fucking that I, point, do you think that I hang out? Do you think that I, I say, okay, feel do, free? Okay, do you think that I hang out with fascists? Um, it depends that's on what you mean, the, right? The slam dunk. If you say yeah. Lauren Southern is a fascist, you should. That's an yeah, easy. It's question. super easy. Are you? Because you, you know, Vivian, when you done? hesitate to answer these questions, depends that's how I know on, that you're a bad faith. Depends. So I'm not a bad faith time. piece of shit. No, I'm going to answer the question in my right, own fucking okay, way, okay, and you're not going to force me into like a yes or no answer, right? Because it depends on what you mean by hangout. Yes or no question. Shut the fuck up, man. It depends on what you mean by hangout, right? If you mean sit around, be being pally with i don't know maybe the league of legends stream with lawrence southern was like a little yeah. bit hanging out with fascists see if you mean it do i think that you get on panels and debate against them definitely right but i wouldn't go i, what I about wouldn't the Kyosin panel like two nights ago where we're all just like joking around and shit that counts as hang out with fascists right ashton is an innocent lovely soul i i have i have no idea why the two of you would need to speak what, what's wrong with, and i love talking i don't dislike you people. but i feel like um <laughs> Lauren, you're literally on a boat shooting flares of f***ing migrants, okay? Are you serious right now? Slow your f***ing roll. Pump the brakes. Jesus f***ing Christ, all right? I can talk to your f***ing friends if I want to. Calm the f*** down. Okay? What are we talking about in here right now? I I didn't actually watch it, watch it so I don't really know okay, the context. So I do hang out with fascists. Did you, would you say that I promote fascists? Am I helping Lauren Southern rehabilitate her image or introduce her to new people? Would you say that I promote fascists? Have you helped Lauren Southern rehabilitate her image? I think That's you what did. Everybody seems to say you did a pretty. Uh, there's definitely some content you did with her where you were like talking to her about the uh, um, like some of her past, and you allowed her to like basically bullshit her way through it. Okay, and so was, there, is there any other person to account? Sure. So if there are other yeah. people, would you say that if I showed you somebody and I'm like, this person hangs out with fascists and he promotes fascists? Are you honest to God going to tell us today that you'd be like, well, I don't think that person is a fascist? Oh, because those are different things. 
No, oh yeah. my god. The ultra I mean, new ones. When, it, when it's convenient for you. Viv, you would call there's any other person of my position. If you weren't confronted right now, wouldn't you say, oh yeah, that person is 100% a fascist? They're probably just not being no, super vocal about it. Absolutely. No, I wouldn't, Guaranteed. Because, Every like, single person listening. No, I wouldn't because I'm like, no, I wouldn't because I'm like really, really careful with these categorizations. You're not careful because earlier when I asked you about Brittany Venti, your only evidence was, well, she car- she called herself a fascist. Which yeah, is a I joke. mean, if you want okay. So what I said was, right, she calls herself a fascist, right? She interacts with other fascists. She has placed herself as part of the movement. She's done things in public that suggest a fascist ideology, right? Um, that suggests some aspects of a fascist ideology, right? And then, like, if you want to have a more nuanced discussion where there's, like, not shitloads of fucking people here constantly trying to, like, get their fucking word in, right? Um, we can talk about how, like, if somebody can be really fucking dumb, identify with a movement, and take actions in furtherance of that movement that make it them a political actor for that movement, right? And somebody can act as a fascist in the world, regardless of, like, what their internal beliefs are, whether they fully encompass the whole uh, the whole sphere of what, like a fascist ideology is right which as you know i've defined multiple times as like ultra nationalism anti democrat uh, being anti democratic ultra nationalist uh with a view to purifying the volk the chosen in group of undesirables based on like immutable traits and sometimes religious sensibilities such as in the case of islam right i've yeah. said this a million fucking times um can i, can I yeah. jump in for one quick second here sure didn't uh, Vivian? Weren't you on record saying that uh, uh, the police, uh, Blue Lives Matter uh, stuff, was fascist intrinsically because it uh, supported, it promoted fascism? I said it. It uh, it helps promote white supremacist narratives. I said it promotes yeah, white supremacy. Yeah. Okay. And white supremacy when, is not necessarily fascist. Sure, sure, it's, sure. Or so, is a core part of most Western fascist movements. So, so why is promoting white supremacy make something white supremacist, but not promoting something fascist make something fascist? I'm sorry, could you restate Okay, that? so I'm earlier sure Destiny was saying in, in this hypothetical he'd be promoting a fascist, in your mind, and he, but he's not a fascist for doing that. So why is a white supremacist a white supremacist for just promoting white supremacy? Um, I mean, I don't really want to like go in and fucking relitigate the whole Blue Lives Matter thing. If you want to know, well, no, what, it doesn't have I, to. We don't. Yeah, we I don't have that. to do that. Yeah, you can just answer yeah, that I, yeah, I don't want to. So, I, I don't want to have like a big okay. fucking argument over it, right? But I would say that the um uh the core narratives that were like pushed by the people who like founded the Blue Lives Matter movement, right? I.e., that um the black people didn't experience a disproportionate amount of police violence would be pushing like a a white supremacist narrative right that were reacting in so, the, no, no. this, yeah, this was um yeah the context yeah. was about kyle rittenhouse was the context it's whether or not kyle rittenhouse was a white supremacist because he supported blue lives matter uh that was yeah, the debate. sure the i said i so yeah. yeah i said he i said he acted in support of white supremacy which is in not the, the same which is not the same as saying he is a white supremacist i don't know what his personal fucking this ideology is, is um insane. so far he seems which to have not strayed outside the so, uh, outside the bounds of various militia movements vaguely attached to the like uh, the the boogaloo memes or whatever um so, so I, wait, I, do you believe that, that you've changed your position on this? Because yeah. I know we've personally had conversations where I've made the argument that supporting, we had a conversation about racism, supporting uh, a racist uh, idea doesn't necessarily make you racist. It's that, it, it's sorry, promoting it doesn't necessarily make you racist. It has to do with whether or not you like personally support it in your intention beyond supporting it. And we had a big contention about whether or not intent matters and whether or not you're racist. Me and you have had two different debates on two different occasions. Would you say that then yeah, I your position these, in that I think how these, I think how we like use those classifications, right? Um, racist, transphobic, when we're talking about a very specific kind of bigotry or whatever, um, I think it is super reasonable for you to see somebody doing something racist and call them a racist. No, right? no I'm sorry, supporting, so let's say promoting somebody who is racist. So like Promoting let's say that is racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's like so, there's like more been... degrees of separation there, right? Like it starts getting yeah. like a little bit grayer, for sure. You play like League of Legends with somebody. Show! Who's like a racist, like... Stop! For oh, fuck's sake! I'm trying to stop this becoming a dog pile, okay? 
Can we just yeah, go so, one at a time? I mean, if you have something, to it doesn't have to be a dog pile. She can just e like easily answer the question. We know she's dancing around, but she's just being a dishonest. I'm not. Like, I'm no, not dancing. No, I'm not dishonest. Like, like, so, like, like, like so I, here's, here's, here's like a more direct question, Vivian. Do you think? Do you still think I should be banned from Twitch for talking to people that are fascist? Sorry, still. I, I've, still. I've, I've, I've never thought that you should be banned from Twitch for speaking to people who are fascists. Okay, can you explain what you meant when you said, I love many of you guys, but if you platform a Nazi or a fascist on Twitch, I'm going to report your stream and I'm going to encourage others to do the same. I'm sorry if you're a decent progressive. And... You. <laughs> uh, you don't think it's about me? It's, it's... Uh, yeah, that was Okay, I'm sorry. I don't have health insurance. This conversation is giving me cancer. Good luck. Okay, I can't do it. Sorry. Well, listen from here. I can't, I can't talk to this people. I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Okay. Yeah, okay. right, fine. So, that was wait, specifically wait. about the politically provoked stream. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't know. Early on, yeah, I was early on, yeah. early on when general, uh, you're making yeah. a general statement about everybody who does this, right? You're not saying yeah. these yeah. people. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, but it would also I, apply I'm, to I'm, destiny I'm, under that definition. So I'd actually love to hear your answer to that question, if you might, because it would apply to destiny if you still believe that. Yeah, no, it specifically applied to the um, to the politically provoked stream Wait, at the time. Oh god, I'm getting triggered. Um, I Fuck, I she's will... lying. Fuck, I hate her so much. I actually fucking hate this person. <sighs> I shouldn't. I just shouldn't. The, the the thread was much longer than just that one po uh, that one post that like I assume Destiny got sent by like twenty fucking people or whatever, um, but. Yeah, I mean, I probably could have made myself like slightly clearer there. I was just like, it was a really fucking frustrating day, um, and I okay. probably didn't wear that as carefully as I as as I should have done. So, um, is your current? Sorry, as... my bad. I thought you were oh, done. My bad. No, no, no. Go ahead and like, what's the okay. question? So, what... you're asking me my current position. Mm -hmm. So, it is your it is your current position that promoting somebody who is racist or promoting somebody who is transphobic does not make you transphobic. Um. Because not our necessarily, I mean, was, you can be you can be like a useful idiot for sure. Like, so yeah, my, our yeah. big contention that we had the the primary disagreement we had in our old racism conversation was whether or not doing something racist makes you a racist. And my argument was doing a singular insulary uh, uh, racist action does not make you a racist, right? That sure, it, you I, need I, to have I some measure I of said, intent. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I, no, that's I fine. I just assumed. Point. I just assumed where you were going, and like, sure, that, it um, doesn't matter. Go for it. I don't care that much. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, I think what I said was like, in that moment, you are like acting as a racist, and it's like reasonable to call you a racist in that moment, mm -hmm. right? Um, I don't think that my position has changed in, on that at yeah. all. So then, would you say yeah. I'm doing something racist if I promote somebody racist on my stream? Yeah, like I said, I think there's you start getting slightly more degrees of separation mm -hmm. there, right? You're not actively yeah. um, saying that you believe certain things that are racist or like deliberately doing a racism. You're sort of more vaguely contributing. I mean, you might not even be contributing, right? If you just have somebody racist on your stream, you might be pushing back to them to the degree that like they're, you know, actually... Um, uh, it actually helps the anti-racist cause, right? Mm -hmm. So there's, there's, yeah, there's like varying degrees, sure. And I think so, there's a difference between somebody who's like, um, who's like doing a racism, if you like, acting as an agent of racism in the world, and somebody who is being unwittingly used by racists. Um, well, what if they? So, like, let's th let's like not, bring a little bit. Yeah, let's yeah. bring a little bit of a more gets real gray, world example. It's what here. I'm saying, basically. Sure. It gets great. Let's, uh, let's assume um, I okay. have on uh, Nick Fuentes tomorrow, and we're just playing video games. Would you say that I'm being doing like a racism, or doing a bigotry, or doing a transphobia, or doing a fascism? If you had Nick Fuentes on tomorrow and just sat around playing video games with him, I would say that you're uh, that you're normalizing. Like, I mean. I don't think it's unreasonable to call fucking Fuentes a Nazi at this point. With sure, the fucking yeah. Yeah. Fascism, we could all agree. Fascism combined with that, uh, fascism combined with anti-Semitism, I think, like at least colloquially, it's reasonable to call somebody a Nazi at that point. Okay. Um, 
I would say that you you know you're facilitating the normalization of a Nazi, and that would be. Are really you like talking bad. about the racist shit though when you're hanging out, or is this just like a totally non-related thing? You're just chilling, talking as friends, nothing political. Yeah, I mean that's yep. what you're just right? hanging out. You're yeah. vibing. Yeah, just playing video games. You're just vibing. Okay. Now, yeah. I, I so, would ask, though, do you think, Viv, that that would be introducing harm to the space? Yeah. I was going to ask. Oh, yeah, I think it probably Sorry about that, really. I think it probably uh, yeah. would be overall, yeah. Okay, so, but it's not, like, racist. I'm not doing some an action that is racist or f a fascist or, n I guess, Naziistic, promotes Nazism. I'm not doing that action, personally? Um, By promoting them? There's, there's a... Yeah, there's there's like a degree of separation, and intent starts to like matter a little bit in terms of like what you're, uh, what you're trying to do in that situation. But I think broadly, yeah, you would probably be like acting as an agent of like Nazism, right? And I don't think it would be reasonable to call you a Nazi, but I think it would be reasonable to call you out for facilitating like Nazism or whatever. Like, I think that would be the, yeah, I think that would be the take. I don't think it would be reasonable to specifically call you a Nazi because there's no indication there that you, like... My Discord your, Yeah. I, I, like I said, it gets very grey. When you start putting in degrees of separation, it starts getting very grey. Um, it's more about, like, what actions do people take that indicate their, uh, indicate their beliefs or uh, indicate, like what they're what they're trying to achieve or whatever yeah you mind if i just ask a question real quick yeah. as long as viv's comfortable you know i just i want to avoid dogpiling yeah. okay so as long sure. as Viv's comfortable going backwards and forwards yeah okay sure. like the, the only thing that i'm wondering and and it's i guess it's visible in the in the link that destiny posted but it's also kind of relevant to like the screenshot of the fascist thing where you said like the fascist the fascists are getting a platform on Twitch or whatever, is that when you post stuff like that, you might not think, okay, this does not implicate destiny. But I think what sort of... Oh, no, I mean, it definitely does, like, kind of implicate destiny. Yeah, that, that's 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 what I'm saying, right? Like, it. do you think that the people who are looking at that, like, looking at the tweet and the things that you posted, do you... Let Think that I, they might think it applies to destiny. Every, and that's, I think maybe the issue is every single drama applies every, to destiny. Every tweet, every tweet that I fucking make. Actually, no, that's not true. It's not every tweet that I make, but that's so funny. many tweets that I make. I have people coming into my fucking mentions going, "Oh, why are you dog? Why are you fucking subtweeting destiny or whatever?" Right? Like this happens so fucking often. We and should it just all about, stay off Twitter. That's about, what we should do. It can that's be about something. How we get rid of toxicity in the community? We just get off. Okay. Can, Nobody tweets ever like, again. It is banned. It can be. It can be about something that has like nothing even to do with the Twitch community. And I will have people in my mentions going like, "Why are you subtweeting destiny?" Like mm. the people who watch destiny are so fucking caught up in this stupid like just innate interpersonal dramas and shit in twitch that they just like tie everything back to their parasocial daddy and they're fucking uh, like honestly i, I feel like, like that's every big community though. touch grass has never been a well no i don't think it is right i don't no. think that like i oh. because i don't have justin bieber fans coming into my fucking pension <laughs> well <too>. every big <laughs> twitch right. politics community right. is what i'm saying this yeah. Yeah. Is. well hold on it's a type yeah. of mentality that uh, we yeah, sort of I... foster yeah, I think Zonia might be really hitting at something here. If you think about, like, if we take it away from Destiny, even, you can look at, like, some of the creative ways people were sniping out Asan, right? They didn't tweet anything about Asan, but they would just be like, man, I really like my 3,000 uh, square foot uh, mansion. It's like, oh, okay, you know? And it's well, like, I mean, oh, you know, is it, are we terminally on? But no, hold on, just to bring it back, because they're... they're to say that like everybody's deranged because there are absolutely people that get it wrong, but there's <laughs> quite a bit of weird sniping that does happen of people, you know, uh, of like destiny sure. when it yeah, comes to like there'll be people who just talk about like, uh, for instance, their kids and how much time they need to spend with their kids and they'll be trying to subtweet them right in that way. So there are absolutely people that really underhandedly try and like dog whistle. Um, yeah, I don't. Digs. I don't. Care. Oh, I'm, he's trying. I think Dust is trying to get back in. He's in the green room again. Well, the issue I, is, the issue yeah. is when you engage in the in the broader community like this, and this is like what other people see and what other people feel like. Then, when you engage in those specific behaviors as well, 
I think that's. Wait, hold on, I, hold on. I just want to. I just real quick. Okay, just to set the facts straight. God, Vivian, you're such a fucking coward. I don't know how you can simultaneously brag about confronting people <laughs> in the streets, and you want to. Oh you've goodness. called me out by name multiple times on your Twitter. You were talking about getting politically provoked banned while Destiny was debating them on Twitter. I don't know if you miss try to misspell my name, so I can't find it. But like, you, I can post tweets. Why do you deny that you that you're like trying to sorry. call me out specifically? Miss, so, sorry, oh, you're saying I was. Uh, you're saying I deliberately misspelled my name so that Stop, you don't focus on the. Don't don't focus on the one thing, Viv. Stop trying to say, like, I don't know why people are implicating their parasocial I don't know why people are implicating their parasocial data. It's because you call me out by name, literally. What are you talking yeah. about? I, 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 prob I, I probably have called you out by name on some things, right? But, like, it's pretty fucking rare, dude. Like, I spend very little fucking time thinking about you. Who like, is the largest progressive person on this platform that debates fascists? Oh um... Probably, probably you. Maybe. So when you say a progressive person that debates fascists needs to be banned, and you just finally admitted, because I'm in here to hold you to account to it, that you've called me out personally in the past, who do you think 99% of people reading that tweet are going to think that that's reply, uh, implying? I, you know, I don't expect the vast majority of Destiny fans to be, like, following me. Right. Why like, can't you just engage I, with the question? I'm sorry, wait. Do you think you have a ton of fans that don't know anything about me at all? Do you think that, like, when you go on Twitter and you tweet, like, oh, like, 80% of these people have never even heard of me before? Um, I mean, I only have a following of about two and a half thousand, so, like, on Twitter. Um... So uh, like it's maybe it's half. So. Maybe Why could you just give like this easy one? Like you can't answer any question. Let me check. I, 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 I mean, if all you want to do, if all you want to do is like come in and fucking scream like and try and get gotchas, uh, then feel I'm free. I'm not trying to get gotchas. I'm, I just want to make sure I'm that I'm engaging with you. I can't have you escape with a reputation intact when you are the most snake-like, cowardly fuck that has ever been in any of these rooms. What do you come on? What? Shut the fuck up! It's true. Like everybody knows what you're implying with your tweets. It's only when somebody pushes you, it's like, okay, yeah, that applies to you. Okay, yeah, I did mention it one time. Okay, yeah, I guess it's a, that you finally, like, okay, yeah, you will not own the implication. You have no conviction behind anything you say. Like, you, you, I you have, act like I you're have, brave in the I streets against fascists, and you come to hide from them at home on your fucking I Discord have, account. It's I, unreal, I have, Vivian. I have, complete, I, I have complete fucking conviction behind everything that I fucking say, right? I've, I've, I've fucking argued with you for fucking hours about, like, how I think you fucking, like, engaging with fascists or, like, allowing fascists to be fucking... Stop saying so much and, and, and saying so little. Right. You, you do this so much. Stop rambling. Give, give, I, me, point. give me a chance to, to say stop, something. Stop saying, stop saying so little and implying so fucking much, then. Yeah, but um, that's what... But, Vivian, 99% of people would agree with my take. That when you are calling out Ooh, my name at some point, I don't care and then about you, your appeal to authority. It's like, not my, yeah. hold on, that, Sorry, my appeal, appeal to authority, to, appealing to uh, majority rather. Appeal to majority is kind of all that matters when we're talking about giving public opinions to the majority of people. You understand that, right? Okay, look, what's what's your point? You my point is to at least at least own, at least have some conviction when I say like, hey. You've called for me to be deplatformed, right? Say, you know what? Yeah, Destiny, I think that you've engaged in some irresponsible platforming fascists, and I do think there are times when you should be deplatformed. At least say that. So like I have a conversation about it and say like, oh, well, when I said progressives that debate left-leaning people, uh, well, or de that debate fascists, I wasn't talking about you, Destiny. I meant all the other progressives on the platform that debate fascists, but not you, even though I've specifically I meant, called you I meant, and Lauren I'm... Southern and the streams you've been out on by name. I wasn't talking about you with that one tweet because you're confronting me about even it now and I don't really want to call you that. and I Lauren mean, Southern I mean, and the streams you've been out on by name. I wasn't talking about you with that one tweet be because you're confronting me about it now and I don't really want to own that. That's who I was thinking of when I fucking wrote the tweet. It was very poorly fucking, it was very fucking You were talking about Britney when you mentioned even progressives no, I was talking, in that tweet. No, I was talking about Britney, the host of Politically Provoke. You, okay. Yes. So, I don't... <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> okay, so, you know what? I'll take you at your word. This is the best piece of life advice I have for you. Stop tweeting, because you, you're a shit writer. You can't convey any idea coherently. You have no idea who the fuck your audience is. You just shouldn't be tweeting, Viv. Because you're you're lost. My audience you're like is a child not your, in a cornfield. My audience you're absolutely not lost out here. Okay? You're okay, not tall I'm enough very, to see where the fuck you're okay. going. I'm sorry. Okay. So, so hang on. My audience is not your fucking my here. audience is not your fucking audience, Destiny. I would really like it if everybody who fucking follows you just fucks off, okay? Because ninety percent of the people who follow you are fucking so dumb. Okay, so oh, deranged, on, so caught up in your fucking, uh, your fucking stupid dramas with various fucking streamers that I do not care about. Okay? Get a blacklist. I, I believe me, I've been blocking them like fucking flies. Okay, but like, 
I do not, I do not care about those stupid fucking interpersonal dramas or whatever, right? Here's, here's the thing, right? We had a relatively fucking cordial relationship. Okay. If you, if you ever had any fucking qualms about something that I'd said, you could come to me and ask me to fucking clarify, right? You could do that. Okay. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm perfectly happy to openly tell you whatever. And if you had significant problems and thought that that fucking thing implicated you, which I can completely reasonably see how you think it might have done, right? Like, I, I, I would have gone, yeah, shit. You know what? I, I, I actually don't agree that we should be like running around trying to fucking deplatform Destiny because one is probably a waste of time. Two, he's not a particularly good fucking target when there's actual fucking fascists on the platform, right? Like we can spend our energy on that shit before we start trying to deplatform random libs who are just fucking like. Wait, toxic. wait, wait, Viv, Viv, Viv. Are are you actually what? saying that if those two things weren't happening, that it would be okay to deplatform Destiny? What? I mean, <laughs> no, no. She's not saying anything. She won't say anything. She talks so much and says so little. I don't know how. She has no conviction behind anything she says. Okay, she'll literally. Get, she'll get on Twitter and she'll say some shit like, what's your, we need to flat P platform Destiny? Soda Poppin. And I'll be like, yo, why do you want to deplatform platform Soda Poppin? What did he do? And you'll be like, no, Destiny, I had a really bad experience with a Diet Coke and some Chinese packaging material. And that's what I was talking about, okay? Popping bubbles with soda. It had nothing to do with it. Why do you even think I was talking about that streamer? Like, unironically, it's the most deranged fucking popping. shit I've ever heard it's, in my entire life. It's, it's he, he's, he's, making an, he's making an analogy. But um, look, I don't this, think is an analogy. this is he's something just I'm going ranting to... like an idiot at this point. Like, this I don't hang care on, about your dumb fuck sophistry. Viv. If you want to have a conversation Wait. with uh, me, uh, actually, I'm rubber, your glue, and anything you say bounces off me and sticks back to you. <laughs> yeah, I've right. noticed. I've noticed that. Right, the, we've got to the playground level of fucking rhetoric. If you want, if if you're fucking like so, if we're on the playground, maybe it's only because you were screaming at me from out there for me to come and join you. Okay, Viv. I mean, if you're on the playground. If, if we're right. on the playground, I'd just fucking headbutt you and walk away. Okay, right, I wouldn't take this yeah. shit. That was in Minecraft. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. Minecraft. Making Twitch unsafe for Destiny and trans people. Why is it? Right. Right. Me. 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 Shut up. Shut up. No actual. Look, I'm trying to play fucking Halo. I'm trying to play fucking Halo. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to play Halo. Don't have to start muting people because then I have to stop playing. Okay. Don't interrupt my fucking gaming time. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Right. Zonya wants to say something. Go on, Zonya. Okay, please so bring this when, back to someone. When we, body. when we, this is, it, it does have rippling effects when we go and we vague post and subtweet, especially because there are there are big popular names. Not everybody's paying attention to the exact same ones. Most people, what they're going to do is they're going to connect it to the one that is most relevant to them. And one of the things that I have definitely witnessed happen with Destiny, I've also witnessed it happen with Dylan and with other people, is when somebody who has enough of a following to get retweeted and they say some shit that's vague posting that could easily be attached to Destiny, what happens is, like, for instance, Bad Bunny and her community pick up on it, amplify it, and then it gets picked up by a bunch of people who also have a beef with Destiny, and then they turn on him. And I've seen the same thing happen to Vosh, I've seen it happen to Dylan, I've seen it happen to Demon Mama, I've seen it happen to a lot of people. So when we, creator. and the more, the more followers you have, 2000 may not be a lot, but the more that you have, the more likely it is to get amplified by people through retweets. Like if I tweet something, it's pretty much guaranteed, it's gonna get retweeted by, like my friend Stardust, right? And she's got a few thousand followers as well. So this is something that just is going to happen. And it's demonstrable, the actual rippling effect and backlash it has, or not backlash, the um, attacking kind of power that it has on these different creators. So you, this is something I think all of us need to be aware of. And I think like even, I get that you, Destiny, will want to retaliate or respond and address it. But this is something we're all guilty of doing, and I think we need to stop doing it. I think maybe we should either get way more <laughs> direct with talking to each other or just not say anything. I mean, just so, like, I mean, I've always said if you have something to, if you have a problem with something I've said, you can fucking come to me and fucking ask about it, right? You're like, asking right now. And I, and, and, and I will genuinely fucking tell you my views because I am fucking open and honest about my views, contrary to what Destiny wants to fucking say, okay? Like, if if you want to know my fucking opinion on something, I'll fucking tell you my opinion on something, provided it's not TOS, right? 
That's it. Okay. There, there's okay. So there's a few problems here. Number one, I believe anyone who thinks that Destiny should be the platform, I think that's really dumb position. However, I also think on there's a public perception at least that when Destiny quotes tweets people, it's not even that he's quote tweeting people. It's that it seems very disproportionate sometimes. Um, so that would be the second problem. And I even think, you know, the way he responds, like he, we all could respond better when that includes me. What's when, our obligation you know, to be nice then? Like, like, like we've, we've done okay, this before. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Like, like you're, you're just gonna say, oh, like people are shitting on you. We probably shouldn't quote tweet them. Like, okay, no, but they that's probably not shouldn't also I'm be doing saying. that. Why don't we all just being nice, oh Jared? Goodness, like, so uncharitable. Like, like this is, this is <laughs> okay. Hans, did I say that? Charitable twenty twenty two. <laughs> Absolutely true. Did, did I say, Hans, did I say that I believe that people should not quote tweet other people? The way you said, oh, but like the way you did it, like makes it so it's like yes. easier to be like, I mean, no, because saying, dumb fucks like you I say quote tweeting is harassment. Like, okay, like sure, no, like there's a narrative because people are right. You dumb oh. fuck, okay? I've never said that. I mean, you keep on putting words into people's mouth, Hans, that, like, people aren't saying you had this common problem. And it's really fucking annoying for people who are trying to engage with you. Good thing, buddy. Okay, hey, right. I, you want to have a conversation with a whole bunch of, uh, like, people who aren't here, you can do it, like, somewhere else, can't you, Hans? Like, <laughs> Either address the things right. that people now are I'm saying, or now I'm like... starting to get now I'm starting to get pissed no. off because my fucking aim's off because you're all showering at each other and I'm fucking sick of it. Okay? Hey, okay. Aim is off, is off, Chad. So quiet, okay? I don't know. I saw him. Do <laughs> I, listen, I, I, saw, I saw Chad do a sweet fucking 180 no scope when he was talking to Dylan about uh, politically provoked. That fucking no, 180 no, 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 Look, here's the reality, okay? This has got past the point of productivity, but I don't care about that because we're having a good time, okay? I am anyway. And Viv, I'm sorry, it feels like you're getting dog part. I'm doing my best to control it, but it's like a bunch of fucking wild fucking wolves in here, okay? We want to take a little bite out of you. So I'm doing my best to hold back the force, okay? So what I want to ask is where do we go from here? What's going to happen next? Who's going to speak now? Well, let's all try not to be dicks. Well, no, no. Being dicks, well. being dicks is good because then people fight and that you know people like that. Being dicks is fine, yes. but like let's it's try and money. keep it in a yeah. let's try and keep it in a good order. Beef is money, my friend. Beef is money. This <laughs> platform for fuck's sake. I Sean. mean, wait, what the fuck? Is everyone just saying in chat? clear with what they're saying, and this is me included too, because I can be like, I think we're That's all minor, quite man. quick to just chat shit, and it's not worth it, and then it ends up having like getting just more and more aggressive and we're fucking shouting each other and getting really fucking personal about stuff when it's just totally unnecessary and everybody is just so quick to want to like jump on stuff and engage in an argument even even if something's not even about you you might think it is because you're already amped up about something and it's like not helpful to anybody because then you're just going to jump on it and then everybody in your community is going to be like oh well they started it so it's okay for me to go over there and vice versa. Like, it's not helpful for anybody to go on like this. Like, at the end of the day, Twitter just causes so much shit for everybody. And as I say, me included, like, I fucking tweet shady shit. And then, like, that blows up in my stupid face, like, fucking Jez from Peep Show. And it's, like, a waste of everybody's time. Realistically, if we could all just put this energy into something a bit more productive and, I don't know, like, True. consequential, like, okay. real play. I think, no, let me... I think Fighting on Twitter is fine. Wait, 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 real quick, fighting on Twitter is fine and fun. Okay, shitting on people is fine and fun. I have no problem with that. I don't think most of us should have a problem with that. We want to shit post a little bit on Twitter, be mean to people, whatever. Problem I have is the cry bullying. Just don't engage in it and then like act like you're undergoing fucking trauma when other people engage back with it with you. That's all I want to say. If you don't want to be involved in it, that's fine. But then don't like jump into these communities and like shit sling. So I'm scared of getting a little bit on your face. So I make so I make one tweet right, which you attributed oh to you. Okay, you don't come and ask me for any clarification, regardless of like the cordial relationship that we've had before. And you decide I that have the a best, strict policy. The best, Viv. Fucking, I do the not best, the best have, way yeah. to react is to like oh, is to like declare so me a fucking is to declare me a fucking terrorist, right? Yeah. So the, what I so Viv, if you say something, this is my policy for how I deal with streamers. Okay, if you mm -hmm. make it public, I'm gonna keep it public. Okay, if you say some dumb shit about me that every single motherfucker reads and takes it about me publicly, I'm not going to you privately to resolve that. I'm gonna fire something back at you. You don't need obviously. to go privately. You can fucking you can fucking ask. Jesus. What do you ask like, what? 
Are you, are you, uh, like, are you are you saying I should be deplatformed? You could fucking you could have fucking asked that. I don't right? need to ask you. you. That's already that. what you've communicated to everybody in your okay. follower list. I don't no, need to. It doesn't matter. Your, everybody in my follower, it. everybody in my follower list, right, does not necessarily think of you the first time. Like every time I tweet, okay, like. I, I I I operate in like circles that have fuck all to do with fucking uh, Twitch politics. A large amount of my fucking followers come from like the, uh, the the cult research community on fucking Twitter and other places, right? Like, not everybody is thinking of you. Okay. And if why I put have, it, fucking, why not have two? Why not make two? Why that doesn't accounts? matter? Why not because just make two different accounts then? Make one that where you only do the cult stuff or whatever you do, and then make a different one for politics. So there's not an intermingling of the communities. So that when you keep putting your foot in your mouth over and over and over again, because you somehow accidentally over and over and over. lines up with uh, yes, so it perfectly lines up with other people. You'd be like, oh, well, actually, I'll just do you have another other example. Account. The, the 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 three examples I've already given like are enough to crucify you. I'm Sorry, not going to provide the, more. What are the, okay? the other two beyond the first one that you're talking mm -hmm. about? Viv, I'm not letting you pivot away from what you've already denied. I'm not pivoting away. Minute. You literally okay. just said there were three. You just said there were three examples, and like, I'm. Just, I only heard you bring up one. You tweeted out about the politically provoked show that I was on. You specifically okay. mentioned my name there, and then you quote tweeted yourself. And I don't know if you're implying that people should report my audience or report. I'm not sure. Okay. And then you specifically said I might have to report some friends or whatever and some progressives uh, because they platform uh, fascists and that's really bad and blah blah blah. Um, and then there was uh, there was one other one you made about progressives platforming people or some shit. I, I don't remember the third one. But like, I, I know, if you want, I can spend a day digging. If you'll pay me money for it, we'll make a five hundred dollar bet or a fifteen dollar bet if you want to be friendly <laughs> on like digging through your Twitter and finding all the dumb shit. I hate how little. How fucking spotless you are! Holy shit, you're such a fucking coward! I, I don't know why anything. you won't just own the convi okay, like, half conviction. Half conviction by what you say. Okay. And this is like, are, are we gonna are we gonna pretend that like you've never tweeted shit like this before? Because I don't have all every fucking tweet. I've had. Like I've already given you like two or three really good examples of like this is what you do. I mean, you haven't given me three examples. You haven't even given me two. Like you've given me one, which is fine, right? Like I'm just like. If you say you've given me three examples and I can't recall the three examples and I ask you to just tell me what they are. Yeah, here's one in the stream chat. What do you think is the implication of this tweet? If you want to do sure. some positive anti-fascist work in response, Destiny's having a debate on the politically provoked YouTube channel tonight. Their roster for the week includes combos on the Jewish question and America first. Uh, if you want to do something positive in response to the harassment campaign from Destiny's deranged fan base, dot, dot, dot. What, what is the implication here? Uh, the implication is go and report the fucking politically provoked channel. I literally uh, don't but not know. Not me who's, who's having a conversation with them on my stream? Why? No. Viv, why it's mention the deranged fan base then? Why mention the deranged fan base? Because they're deranged fan base. Because his deranged fan base was in the middle of fucking harassing me. But but this goes um, and my followers, saying, and my followers were like it. worried about me because it was fucking garbage. I had to shut everything down. But this is what I, goes back to what I was saying, Viv, is that what, when you say things that can be tied to destiny, even if you don't intend it to actually create a, a, a storm against him, it's going to because others who have beef with him will make the connection and they're going to amplify that message and they're going to put their own audiences to well, it. Well, hey, you know what? Maybe, the, maybe there is some fucking connection that needs to be drawn between like destiny's fucking rhetoric and essentializing of people as like being fundamentally fucking bad or like unhinged or deranged or like mentally ill or okay, whatever. so now you're right? saying something and, different. And, so that's something that we can work with. Bitch, I mean, holy shit. Like maybe there is some connection that needs to be drawn between that shit and like holding uh, holding people to account for the specific kind of fucking rhetoric that they use. Okay, but like, fair. I, and I'm, so and I'm sure people could hold me uh, hold me to account for that specific fucking rhetoric as well, right? Mm -hmm. We well, can actually it, have a fucking conversation that about that. Right that, would now, okay, that would wait, be a massive, we, that would be look, a massive look, look, fucking look, look. double standard, wouldn't the it? The people in it that I presume we're going to be more siding with Viv are also jumping on Viv as well. So can we please cut yeah, that shit out? About that. Fuck me. I'm trying, I'm trying to be as charitable as I can when I do no, this. That's, that's and, fine. I, I just, you know, and you pragmatic leftists as well. What the fuck are you doing? Why are you jumping on Viv as well? You're supposed to be my fucking leftoid, you know, representation. I, I, cut I'm that shit out. The reason why she's one being hating is because, like, her position like, is bad. Okay, I'm look, totally what's what, look, 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 right? We can, we can, we can totally fucking like take this down and just go. What? What is my position that is bad, and what do you actually fucking want? You advocate for the deplatforming. It seems of anybody that even talks to a fascist on stream. So when we talk, 
I think it would be interesting for you to at least say, yeah, Destiny, I think you should be deplatformed. And then we have an argument about that point. It's a long but instead, list you seven. weasel and, and worm your way around any like possible conclusion to any okay, statement. So we've, got, we, we've got the actual claim, and now you're just doing some sophistry. So... <laughs> You want me to you want me to say outright, right? That I think that people who platform fascists in any way should be. You said that you've already said that outright. I just wish you would defend that in a conversation. I think that platforming fascists is bad, right? That's not what you said. We, I think that platforming fascists is bad. We've had. If a you want to do something positive in response to the harassment ah, and just these deranged fan base. For God's sake. Uh, Come on, sorry. Is it your so boring? Oh my God! You try. You, I, I'm literally. I'm literally trying to like push oh, forward not. into that. Hans, please. I'm begging you, bro. Shut Come on, up, Hans. This is this is please. very boring, dude. Please. Holy fucking shit. Come on, bro. Um. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think platforming fascists is bad, right? I've had these conversations. That's, no, no, that's not what you said. Every time Holy you say it, I'm going to interrupt you. I'm going to start uh, screaming. No. No, Wait, because down, it, down, it requires it, it requires me saying it to construct the fucking argument that you want me to make, okay? Well, no, it's the argument you've already tweeted. If you platform fascists, you should be deplatformed. That's what you've said. <sighs> all right, let's let Viv speak for a bit, okay? And see what comes out. Everyone chill out, all right? Getting a bit too hungry up in this fucking place. Let's chill. Right, Viv, go ahead. Hey, Chad. Hey, Chad. At one point, I also want to kind of speak up and clarify something that Viv noticed in chat with me earlier. Of course, that's fine. Right, Viv, go ahead. Everyone chill out. I'm holding okay. you back. I put really simply, if your goal is deplatforming fascists, right, the... There has been a continuous fucking argument about whether or not, or when, or if, or whatever, it's okay to platform or debate fascists, right, on this platform. And we, I don't see us ever getting to a fucking point where, uh, you know, large streamers like fucking Destiny or whatever, like, uh, agree that it's not okay to platform fascists. If you want to deplatform fascists from all fucking avenues of Twitch, then you're gonna have to fucking try and deplatform Destiny. I don't think that that's even fucking feasible to try and do currently. But if that's what you want to fucking do, then that's what you'd have to do. Because Destiny will continue to platform these people. And I don't think he'd disagree with that assessment. Do you agree that you have personally advocated for reporting streams like mine and mine, and that you think it would be a good thing to do, and that you yourself would do it? I already answered this to you, right? Like, this is a poorly worded tweet. I was advocating specifically for, like, reporting the politically provoked channel. Um, I understand how it could be taken in that fashion. And I understand Wait, okay. how- Wait, who, who were you friends with on the politically provoked channel? Um, I was friendly. Uh, Not friendly, friends. Were you friends with Brittany? No. Okay, the next tweet is, this may lead to me reporting friends. Can you tell yeah, me which friends thinking, you were referring to? Yeah, I was thinking about Prime Guys at that point. You, you would report Prime Guys over me? <laughs> I was... Are you fucking oh serious goodness. right now? What the fuck? And, yeah, and I would probably end up reporting you. Uh, thank you! <laughs> Oh my well, god, do you, do you feel the weight come off your chest when you finally admitted that? When you just, when you finally say that? Does it, does it yeah, that's where that, that's where that reasoning leads. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay, cool. I, okay. I think, I think so we've all had, I think we've all had our fun with the deplatforming stuff, okay? Let's cut the deplatforming, let's put it away, put it in our pocket, okay? <laughs> Let's just take this a step back. This is like back. the sectioning meme in fucking Peep Show. It's like I, I mean, I, I, whatever. I literally regretted that tweet and fucking ended up deleting it. Right? Like, I don't, I don't see a point in trying to fucking waste our energy trying to fucking deplatform Destiny. I don't think it's gonna fucking work. I don't think it's gonna fucking happen. Right? I think he's gonna continue fucking deplatforming fascists, and I think that's bad. And hey, I don't. You think tweeted I'm this like happen. five days ago. Streamers you watch that um, that you will see supporting them if they interact with this channel, politically provoked. It only works if the community actually cares about keeping Nazis out, yeah. which I'm pretty doomer pilled on. Yeah. But if you care about this, then you uh, then this is what you do. Nothing else works. You either deplatform them, deplatform them, or you help them grow. There yeah. is no way to debate fascists without providing them aid. So you still yeah. believe this? It's not a bad tweet that you made and then you deleted it because you. You still believe this, or at least five days ago you did. I don't believe. Cannot debate a fascist. What did I? Providing them aid. 
Yeah, but I mean, literally in that tweet, I'm saying I'm completely doom appealed on this. I don't think that we'll be able to achieve it, right? Also, like I've said multiple times in this conversation, I don't think it's worth trying to fucking deplatform you in any meaningful way. I don't think there's like enough people that would want to do it, right? And if the it, like the people who want to deplatform fascists, I think you could do a lot better by like going hey, directly. I'm not talking about doing better. Down. I'm not talking. Okay, stop. Your spine is leaving your body. I'm in not. Real time, I'm okay? not being spineless. I'm saying, I think I'm it would saying, be a moral and good thing. You still. You I'm going to say what you want me to say, because, Destiny. No, no, you tried to caveat. You're saying, well, I just dis- I deleted that tweet. Okay, I'm I deleted say, that tweet. Okay, but that's I'm not what you're you saying. Other tweets you left that you didn't delete, where people specifically asked you, are you going to report Destiny stream and cut ties with him when he does this, having debates with fascists, and you literally said. I don't want to cut ties with anyone, but yes, I will report the channel. If he cuts ties with me, then that's his choice. So don't act like, oh, it was just one tweet. Oh, I just regret it. Blah, 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 blah. Like, just own yeah, it. It was all on so, the same day. Uh, um, and, let me just... and like, it, yeah. fucking hell. Like I said to you, right, so somebody else brought you up in my fucking mentions, right? And I, and I said, yeah, that's basically where the reasoning goes. And it fucking sucks, right? Um, I am, I'm saying now, I, d- I can hear myself back. I don't know who the fuck that is. Uh, I'm saying now I don't think there's like there's like enough impetus to like, even be able to fucking do that with your channel, right? Um, wait, the, wait, wait, what is this fucking? Well, I would say do platform it, but I can't even really do it. So I, uh, I'm literally, I I'm literally about, I'm literally about to say the thing that you want me to say, right? If you're gonna, <laughs> if you can stop fucking memeing for half a fucking second, I think it would be, well, I, I think it would be, a, well, I mean, if. Why have it then? Anyway, I think if you're, uh, yeah, um, I think it would be a moral and good thing to deplatform you. I don't think it would be effective. I don't think it's going to fucking happen. Okay, let me jump in here. Uh, Can I jump in? I literally can't get a word uh, in either, Zonia. Sorry. Um, Why don't, like, okay, I disagree with Viv, okay? And I think, like, there is definitely some shade going on on Twitter, but, like, Destiny, why don't you just, like, rise above it, block her? And let it be like you're an adult too. Just fucking did, because you guys block, because because you guys block me. poison. But, like, you I'm not part because of you guys. guys you, so, like, he don't, did like, block me, and like, then he decided to like go on the attack. When you when you, when you start making excuses for this behavior, you become part of you guys. So you've joined the crowd. Okay. So, I'm not making excuses for you're it. An saying, like, you're an enemy now. You're an enemy now. Watch out. Next thing you next thing you say. Hey, Next Vivian, thing you say, make Vivian's sure it can't be taken as stochastic thing. terrorism, okay? Because you're only one of us here brags about a list that we've had that we add people to, okay? So yeah. Slow wait, down wait, 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 wait. That's <laughs> another. <laughs> that's <laughs> another. <laughs> that's <laughs> another <laughs> fucking no, lie. Hey, wait, 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 wait. That's, that's a straight up lie. Unless you're gonna pay me. What? That's a straight up lie. The list is a lie. Yes, it is. That I brag about a list. Is a fucking lie. Viv, yeah. don't we? We all watched okay. the debate. Don't make me. Yeah, we watched the here, fucking. Okay? Yeah, stop. we watched the fucking stop. debate. Viv, right? Stop. Viv, they, you're they, they up, Viv. Shut the fuck up, Destiny. What's going on with this? Like, I want to hear more. I want to hear more about this list. Yeah, we've all seen the. We've all seen the. Don't ask her. You're going to end up on the list. We've all seen the list. Yeah, exactly. Like you're not on the list. You're not interested. I mean, Mister. This just demonstrates. This just demonstrates that you're not interested in honesty at all, right? <laughs> she like, says after taking two hours to admit to the first fucking question that I asked. I literally just said, I literally just said, like that's where the reasoning fucking yeah, takes me. Yeah. Finally. Like, okay. So whatever. Wait, wait, real quick. I'm so, just trying to clean you. But, but, but if you want to do the fucking, oh, sorry, if you want to do the fucking, no, if I didn't you want to interrupt. If you want to do okay. the fucking what about ism, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, like the 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 fucking list meme just shows that you're not interested in like being honest at all. True. Right? Like, you know, okay, you know so that I don't have. Okay, a fucking, she's still going you know that I didn't brag about having a having a list that I'm putting mm-hmm. people on, right? Nice. You know that. Okay. Right? okay. I don't have COVID. Is that, so that's is that true? Or okay. Is that congratulations. Not? Okay. Thanks. So okay, the problem um, that I have, I the reason, the reason why, I, well, okay, I'm just responding to Queen, and I'll shut the fuck up. You guys don't talk. Okay, the, the reason why I can't just quote unquote rise above it is because these people like are toxically influencing every fucking conversation that I have, and then if it doesn't affect me. Then they'll branch out and they'll try to like attack or destroy the people that are peripheral to me. So if I have a conversation Welcome with somebody and people don't like it, uh, you know they'll relentlessly direct a whole bunch of bullshit to me on Twitter. 
by tweeting about how I'm a pedophile or a pedophile supporter or a Nazi or fascist yeah. or whatever, or I'm on the list or whatever bullshit. Um, and then afterwards, if that doesn't work on me, then they'll start going after anybody that is like friends with me. So if Irrelevant is covering something or if Hans is covering somebody or if any other else, then the people are like, oh, these guys are all supporting pedophilia or fascism too. So even if it doesn't affect me, it will blow back on other people that are like in my sphere of influence or that are uh, peripheral to me or that are like siding, I, I guess, on a similar side with me politically on some things. So that's why I kind of have to, I can't just ignore it because these people are real, unfortunately, they have some level of like power to organize and harass people online. And I feel like I have some kind of responsibility in responding to it. Okay, I'm done. Okay, so. Okay, so Viv. Oh, uh, no, like, oh, please, come on. I'm, I'm sorry. It's only if I like, kind of need to respond. Otherwise, I'm not going to like be able to come back and forth here. Um, okay, quick I mean, response. Send Johnny, go. Train back in here. Huh? Can go. I go? Yes, go, go, okay. speak. Jesus, sorry. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, I. I understand that, but I also think that the audiences that you guys, a lot of the bigger streamers, maybe like if it was about you having a conversation with someone who's smaller and like, I, but I don't think, I think it's so incremental, the harm that Vivian's community can do to a huge community like you or has or whatever else, like these big streamers. Whoa, whoa, Jamie. Janie, what about like a smaller streamer like me? Let, like, let, let, who, who, if I get if I get attacked, Hans like how much smaller does someone Look, have to be? Fair, you dig your own grave. You dig your own grave. You don't need Destiny to do that. Sure Try, thing. Yeah. So, like, how how much bigger does someone have to be before you you you're not allowed to respond to them anymore? I'd say like much bigger than Vivian. <laughs> Significantly bigger. What does I mean, I can't put a number on it, but like, let's be honest. I think we all know relatively, like, if Vivian's community, what, how many, okay, she's got like, what did she say, like, two and a half thousand followers on Twitter? How many of those people are going to see a subtweet and then respond oh, to even that? that? Honestly, 2200 and something. Yeah. Like, how many of those people are going to be actively, like, going out of their way to disrupt somebody else's community? It's going to be, like, pretty small. I mean, basically, none of them, like, considering the vast majority of them just. Don't even have anything to do with church politics. Okay, can we okay. let you It's like not even yeah. worth getting uh, down okay. into the weeds with. It's like pointless. Okay, so Viv, I'm trying to not help dogpile you. I'm trying to be as charitable as I can. But, um, okay, so you said that you personally are not advocating for Destiny being deplatformed, but logically, you do come to that conclusion that it would be morally good to deplatform Destiny, and then we also go back to what I was yeah, saying before. We about... we, oh, hold on, hold on. No, you don't need to clarify. I get where, where you're coming from. Um, mm -hmm. Now we also go back to what I was saying before, where I demonstrated that um, having these kinds of vague posts that can easily be tied to Destiny uh, do have reverberations, and more and more. As more and more people retweet it, it gets to bigger communities and they end up dogpiling him. And that ends up, that can turn into mass reporting. Now, what I'd kind of like to get down to, I'd, I'd like to drill down to, again, sort of like demonstrating harm versus benefit. And I would argue that Destiny, though having some very toxic contributions to discourse, I think that can be demonstrated, has done more benefit to the overall community as well as irl politics um than he has done second that, harm. I second that so i i would say that if you logically move to the if the logical conclusion of your position would be to deplatform him and you're doing this vague posting that ripples out that can easily turn into mass reporting and brigading of destiny that mm -hmm. could take him off i would say that that would be more harmful sure do you what is his, what is your thought on that like would you adjust your moral lens then or what i think i think we should deplatform fascists and i don't think we're going to be able to do that without deplatforming the people who consistently fucking platform fascists i you know i i don't hold any hope for it fucking happening however so but yeah that is that is the logical extension of my position and it depends really like what you care about right you say destiny's done more good than bad um i think maybe overall you're probably right right um but it really depends on like what you actually specifically care about if you if you specifically care about like combating uh fascism in online spaces and stuff um and you see that as like the biggest problem then 
um, you know, those are the actions that you would have to take, right? So, so your priorities effectively mean that he, if he ends up in that crossfire, he ends up basically getting tossed out, right? Baby with the bathwater. Or is that not charitable enough? I mean, effectively, yeah. But I have so, no plans to do anything like that. Maybe then what I think would be a good thing to do is to get you guys back to talking one-on-one -on -one and back to communicating instead of this antagonist. I don't know if he's interested in that, honestly. I, I bet Destiny would be. Let's ask him. Destiny? What's the question? Um, are you interested? Is Zona asking? <laughs> would you be interested in actually just having more private, like one-on-one -on -one dialogue with Vivian? Based no, on what? everything that I, that just happened over the past three minutes. No, why the fuck would I care? Yeah. Because because you you've got a very you've got a very hostile relationship with Viv, and you end up yeah, jumping on to her. Of course I do. What do you mean? Why, you yeah, finish? but the thing is, she doesn't technically no have a personal interest. beef with you. I've I don't care no if she has a personal. Interest. Hitler doesn't have a personal beef with me. I'm not Jewish. I still hate him too. What do you mean? Yeah, <laughs> but the thing is that I think that well, okay. It's so active. I've, I've talked this with... is like just letting it die, like letting it just be done. With. Yeah, like On you guys both can both sides, basically... not just Destiny's. Yeah, you guys can I'm basically fine clear, this, it die. clear this shit up. The only time I'm it. the only time I'm it's interacting with Vivian is usually when she's tweeting talking shit about me. Yeah, well, she needs to keep. I'm fine letting it die. I'm fine letting it die. Okay. You let it die, I'll let it no, die. Okay, Vivian, no I more need tweets about Destiny. No more subtweets. Just leave sure. it. Just drop it, yeah? Leave it out. If I okay. tweet anything, it's not about Destiny. Okay. You can talk well, about me instead. But okay. you got to avoid that vague posting that can very sure. easily be tied Yeah, like, no shade, okay? Sure. Okay. Sure. Hashtag not about Destiny every time you tweet. All can right. Take, I need to go. Gonna last? Dude, this is, this is going to go down in history. Before. This is now written into law. The time the war was ended. Okay, uh, right, I think we're done. We're I think we're done. Walls. I think we're done. Like, Fuck I mean, I'm, um, I'm gonna bounce unless anyone's got anything else to add. Uh, I don't think you should bounce. I think Chud deserves a hype train. What the fuck? Come on, guys. Yeah, subscribe to Chud. Fucking wallet Have people right been subscribing? Now. Some, some bits, some subs. Come on, guys. Um, but yeah, this, I mean, I, this I, moment I think, went down in history. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I don't know. I anything else anyone wants to say? Uh, um, yeah, follow me I? on on Twitch. Got oh, a yeah. self promo. Yeah, if, yeah. if you want to shout themselves out, please do. Go ahead. Oh, I'm debating Kevin Logan at six and whether I'm a grifter. That's gonna be fun. I love Kevin. Uh, Obama. Obama. Okay. <laughs> uh, Zonia dead uh, at, yeah. at Twitch and um, getting Zonia back into based. streaming. Thanks. I'm getting back into streaming these days, so you'll probably see a lot more of me in the coming days. Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot, everyone. Bye. Bye. Fuck me. Hyperloo. Holy shit. Giga Chun. <sighs> Come on, let's get. Listen, I've just piped out a bunch of content for you. I feel bad about Viv. I disagreed with Viv's positions, really, but fuck me, it was getting a dog piley. And then the people that are supposed to be on fucking Viv's side turn against her. What the fuck? Are, what the fuck? What the f What? That's fucking outrageous. I'm I'm trying to fucking stack the deck a little bit the other way. And then everyone's fucking turning on Viv. What the fuck am I supposed to do? And then I'm like, well, this is just a fucking nightmare now. What the fuck am I supposed to do? What a shit show, lol.